you did pose a question about Trump's New York civil fraud case. And when you asked about the fairness of the verdict, what did you find? Uh, the fairness of the verdict in the fraud case was somewhat divided. I, I don't think they really could figure out much about this fraud case. Um, you know, one way, one way or the other, they weren't shocked by him having to put up the, the bond. Uh, so, um, so on the, on the fraud case, I think they don't really have, you know, they don't really know much about it. They don't fully understand it. Uh, unlike some of the other cases. And what do you think this means, if anything, for his legal challenges going forward then? Uh, I don't think it means a lot. I mean, I think that 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 it's going to be up to the judges. And and what we've seen is that this stuff doesn't really have much impact, uh, maybe even helps them most of the time, to the extent that these appear to be personal political battles. And Letitia James attacks Donald Trump, or Fannie Willis says she's going to get trains moving, uh, and not kind of sober, I'm applying the law, you know, the way uh, it was. Well, then obviously these, these just become political battles instead of legal ones. When we look at all of this data about the head to head matchup, the top issues, key political figures, what's surprising to you? Well, I, look, I'm, I'm generally surprised by. How Trump has really come back. Uh, he's come back and overcome so many different obstacles and consolidated his party. I'm surprised that Biden has so easily consolidated the Democrats. I'm surprised that we just ultimately have a repeat of the previous election. I'm surprised that immigration has become as big an issue as it is. Um, and so there's a lot here, I think, uh, that uh, some of which we thought was, well, this was all likely to happen and we were likely to have Biden and Trump, but still, here we are. And, and that's a surprise. Uh, and, uh, and so I think there's going to be a very close election campaign. Plus or minus two points is not something that, that is going to be easily overcome by either party. Uh, and uh, I think that's going to be the most expensive uh, campaign. And, you know, look, I wouldn't leave out. We also ask about Hunter Biden and, and most people think that, that Joe Biden was involved in Hunter Biden's business. Um, and so that's, that'll be kind of a renewed element in, you know, in here, though, though what happens when, when both candidates are disliked and, and, and there are charges and counter charges on both sides, actually it turns out that those elections turn on issues. And because and, and, they say, well, I don't like either of them. So how am I gonna vote? Well, they're going to vote about what makes more of a difference in their own lives. And they're going to say, well, what's more important to me? Immigration, inflation, climate change, abortion. What makes a real difference to me? So it's a very surprising thing with these harsh, negative, uh, personal campaigns actually then turn more likely on issues. And so that is yet another surprise, uh, I think. And I don't think people have made up their minds yet entirely on which issue is most important to them. I think if you asked anyone after the 2020 election, no one would say that we would be having a Groundhog Day now in 2024, that there would be a 2020 rematch. So if you're so surprised by this Trump resurgence, resurgence what do you think you could um, attribute his comeback to? Well, we used to call Clinton the comeback kid. <laughs> Trump, I, think, I think Trump has kind of earned that title so far. Uh, and And a lot of the lessons of Trump stay in the game. I'm sorry, of Clinton, stay in the game, never get out, wade, wade through it, get back to what makes you kind of, uh, you know, strong. I, I think you, you see him, you know, I think it's pretty remarkable. It's certainly unexpected, but then I didn't think he could win the presidency the first time. So, so I'm very surprised that he's, he's taken not just a position, you know, not a position where you would think Joe Biden was, was up by 10. Uh, you're looking at a rematch here, and the biggest difference in the rematch here is a single thing. It's Joe Biden's record. Joe Biden didn't have a record when he won the first time, and, and he does have one now. And that's really the decisively different element. We're sitting here, as I've said earlier, eight months from Election Day about, and I know a lot can change. There's a lot of different variables, but what's on your radar as we are this far out from the election? Uh, again, we're just going to look, you know, there's always a campaign and a campaign about the campaign. So the campaign is really about the issues 
and people's positions on them. What what position will Trump take on abortion? Will anybody believe him? What will Biden do on, on, on the border? What plans do either of them have for another term? Because I've heard very few ideas uh, from, from either side on that. Um, or, uh, and then there's the campaign about the campaign. Uh, who's more negative? Who's got more money? Uh, you know, who's got the press? Who's going to lock up whom? Uh, and I think you kind of watch those those two campaigns here closely, see who wins each one. Ultimately, the real campaign is the campaign you have to watch.